Hello and welcome to Mage Master's Amazing Adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Another day is dawning in Mordheim, City of the Damned, and let's get started right away with the sweet moment after yesterday's heroic battle. And, of course, not the least, follow my personal progress as the Warlock Ranger Mage Master. And the captain got two enemies put out of action and is so close to ranking up and he got an advancement point in physical. Nice. Donnie Dodger, he also got a physical advancement point and did a good job of standing on the ramp, right? Teddy Toothpick, you did some misses out there today with that rifle. I believe that fence was a bit jumpy. Anyway, you got a martial advancement point. Maybe you should use it for ballistics, huh? And Dodgy Dan, you ranked up to level 4 and you got two skill points for training and was given a mental advancement point. Nice! Well done, Dodgy Dan. And Sheldon Shieldwise, what eminent work you did out there and you put two out of action and were the most valuable warrior. Nice! You got two advancement points, one in mental and one for martial. Well done, Sheldon. Well done. And there I am. And look at this. I ranked up. I got two spell points and two skill points for training. So this, I can train spells as well. I think it's a bit too early, though. And I got one enemy put out of action. I now have four missions survived and four enemies put out of action. I am so close to finishing my contract and I have a physical and a martial advancement points. Nice! And Herman Henchman has ranked up as well. Wow, he got an offense point too. So now he can attack twice with a one-handed weapon. Awesome! And he did a good job too out there today. Nice. And we got two XP points for the warband and we are closing in on our ranking up. As a warband, the firing squad are truly progressing nicely. And while the captain distributes the spoils of war and the advancements of skills, you can enjoy Mage Master's very own first-hand experienced war tale of yesterday's venture into... Vortheim, the city of the damned. And the captain has found us a hard mission today. Rivals in the ruins, we needed to crush their will and possibly steal the idol off their wagon. The wordstone gathering could be good and the scavenging poor and both warbands deployed tightly around their wagons and prepared to hack and slash each other to shred. Oh, yeah, okay, let's just go. The Keepers of Sigmar's Faith. Oh, we're up against the Witch Hunters. Now we have all our frontliners in the front and our rangers in the back. Now the plan is that we're going into this beautiful big house over here and out through this side door. We're overlooking a great big field of wordstone right here, which is gonna be the center battlefield of this battle. And of course I was the first in position with a nice overview of the wordstone field and the incoming foe. And Teddy Toothpick, he found a nice position to draw first blood. We lined up in a perfect firing squad position where only a fool would approach head on. With a firing line of rangers and a first front line in Shelton Shieldwise. And their leader was foolish enough to show what not to do with the firing squad. Look at this display. The captain, Dodgy Dan, and a little warning shot. I guess. And then ending up with... Sheldon Shieldwise, who stood his ground and dealt some damage. He parried like only the White Knight could do and dealt damage like a surgeon. 
The captain's strategy for the firing squad had shown that 70% of the first foe's life was left before he even dealt the first damage. The captain continued dealing damage to the first, and I shot a pigeon that got in the way, I think, there. It just popped up his head, I think. It's, it's, it. Anyway, the captain told us to hold our lines while the incoming just ran straight over the word stone field without picking anything up for us. And standing alone looking at their leader being all alone with Sheldon Shieldwise. He was a good dodger, though. But Sheldon Shieldwise was unimpressed. <laughs> The first loot was promising with a lot of good quality gear and we were inviting the rest of them to join the party. A new round has started. Teddy Toothpick with his long range hunting rifle was the first to pick the foe. Here came another fool meeting up with Dodgy Dan, Captain and a little stick to change the direction and try a Herman henchman shot before finally ending up with the first front line. <laughs> a wall called Shelton Shieldwise. An enemy tried another approach to run behind a wall and climb up behind us. What he didn't know was he stepped right in to a trap set up by Donny Dodgers and the captain. While the others kept their distance and our rangers could hold them off, I took a high ground shot at our new trapped enemy. The captain could switch weapons, turn around for a serious talk. But the enemy surprisingly had something to say right back. That did not please the captain, so they kept the debate going while Donnie Dodger came in with a real attack. Critted him, but he stood his ground. He had taken serious damage, but so had the captain. The axe was enormous. Yeah. Donnie Dodger kept damaging him while Shelton Shieldwise kept the first front line. Yeah. With a capable Dodger and a damager as well. A new round has started. <laughs> Sheldon Shieldwise doesn't back off, while Teddy Toothpick has a little bit of trouble with a wall. Jumping or something? Anyway, they decided to go to the front door, and I decided to help out Sheldon Shieldwise downstairs on the ramp. He had only a little life left, so I decided to put him out of action. My fourth enemy put out of action in four missions. Nice, right? The captain was still talking serious big words with the foe in the trap and hurt him severely enough to put him out of action. The enemy's morale was quickly diminishing, but they heroically kept on. Another fool approached head on. This display of perfect shooting is the essence of the firing squad strategy. There he was, caught midfield, lining up right in front of the firing squad. That's gotta hurt. And it did. Teddy Toothpick with his long-range hunting rifle had a lot of choices to choose from. He decided to keep Overwatch shooting and pinning them to their points, lining up everywhere, and kept the hero off. Another fool approached. A new round has started. Dodgy Dan dealt some lead, and then he met Sheldon Shieldwise, the wall. Sheldon had perfect attacking today and the counter-attacking was legendary. The enemies just kept lining up in front of us and the firing squad's strategy of ranged and front line was put to the test. And we all proved it to be a perfect strategy. Another fool decided to step into a trap at the back door, while Sheldon Shieldwise kept working on the frontline dodger who was <coughs> testing him to the limits. And Teddy Toothpick had troubles with a jumping wall again, I guess. Another one went for the front door, 
and Sheldon Shieldwise was bravely holding the first front line all along. A new round has started. With impeccable dodging <laughs> and perfect parry. <laughs> I was standing on a high ground, picking out my targets one by one. And switching places with Herman Henchmans on the high ground. This was the perfect strategy of the firing squad. Sheldon Shieldwise was still all alone in the front and doing a perfect job. And changed his defense strategy towards this capable foe. It was an art form performed in front of us. Sheldon Shieldwise was showing a perfect display of fighting, and even their hero decided to stop. A new round has started. And just watch the show. Their enemy has no chance against our white knight. And I had some trouble with pigeons flying in the way of my arrows, I think. Anyway, Dodgy Dan did some damage on the top of the stairs, and the captain and Donnie Dodgers were ready to trap the next enemy, while Teddy Toothpick was picking out his targets. They changed to a ranged attack and missed. You don't use ranged attackers against the firing squad's captain. This doesn't go well with the captain. So the captain jumped down and took a little talk to him. Well, just three words, really. Out of action. Sheldon Shieldwise was still working him down there. Morale was decreasing fast. While well, I decided to break the last of their morale, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Their hero tried to boost their first liner against Sheldon Shieldwise and make a sneak attack for the front door. A new round. Has that didn't help their first front line, and Sheldon Shieldwise just kept damaging and defending. But he did take some damage. So I shot a pigeon, I guess. Anyway, inside the house, Dodgy Dan was holding the top of the stairs and I was positioned to defend the stairs as well. He kept running up right into Herman Henchman's ambush attack. Who dodged and the captain missed his toe but hit his ankle. Dodgy Dan switched his weapons and flanked him on his right side severely damaged him while Sheldon kept the first front line clear, yeah. and Herman Henchman finished yet another foe yeah. that finally broke their morale and gave yeah. us the victory. It was a battleground victory. We got some wordstone and some scavenging. We lost no one, killed six out of the seven of them, and Sheldon Shieldwise, aka the surgeon, aka our white knight, was honored most valuable warrior and the mission only costed 34 gold coins in upkeep expenses so overall a successful mission now let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment and the captain he was a bit cranky about the little bit of looting we did out there today there was actually nothing for anyone today but he has been waiting to open up this last slot in his inventory he now has space enough for five different items and by getting one more strength point over here he can actually open that last one this could be useful and donnie dodger he also got an advance point in physical and is using that for strength Let's see if he can put that to good use, but not on the next mission. So he is switching to a normal quality shield because he is giving his blue good quality shield to Herman Henchman. And he will be using that shield on his mission. Now he was also given two advance points, one in mental and one in martial. And it's gonna go for some leadership to boost the morale a little bit here so they equal out. And, of course, for weapons. Nice. And Sheldon Shieldwise, our white knight, aka the surgeon, he did really well out there. He's gonna go for a little more leadership as well to boost 
and equalize these two a little bit and then he's gonna go for some weapon skill look at that percentage down here on the parry this is good Sheldon this is good and there I am I ranked up and I was given two advancements points physical and martial and I was given spell points and skill points look at this and I really want this hunter skill it, it only takes a day but I need six in ballistic skill and I only have five so one of my advancements points will go for that and agility is what I'm going for physically right now so now I can train it and it only costs 90 gold coins and we can afford that nobody's gonna notice 90 gold coins I am gonna train this overnight for the next mission like that nice nice and Teddy Toothpick. He made a few misses out there, maybe it was pigeons, but using an advance points for boosting ballistic skill was probably a good idea. He's also taken off his helmet and his good quality blue dagger as well, and he's giving it to Baldy Bowman, because Baldy Bowman is coming with us on this next mission and he is gonna be using not the rifle this time but he's going to try the crossbow he can fire two shots and he can reload because he has the skill of quick reload which reduces the reload cost by one this makes it possible for him to reload twice if he hasn't used any other strategy points and dodgy dan you ranked up and you were given an advance point you can use it for leadership to level out these and he was given two skill points for training and the captain wants him to train the flash parry skill and it only costs 90 gold coins and there are some gold missing anyway uh the captain is going down to sell some items and while he is i can tell you real quick about our one-armed new chef perry perry and his meal that he was preparing for us well he made oatmeal porridge for us and he mistook something in the recipe that said uh, one chip of salt he thought it said one cup of salt so unfortunately the meal was very salty and we pretty much drained half our water supply in the war camp well unfortunately the captain wasn't happy but uh, he promised that he would do better so we are looking forward to that and so the captain returns with some gold coins and dodgy dan can train the flash parry overnight nice and so a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim, and it's time to look at the daily report and dodgy dan has learned the skill flash parry and i have now learned the skill hunter awesome and nero the hero has arrived in time to join us on a mission today now he is on a standard contract so he needs to survive five missions and put five enemies out of action i have no doubt he will do that and today i actually have a chance to fulfill my standard contract this is my fifth mission today and if i put an enemy out of action today it will be the final of my standard contract and I will be a true member of the firing squad and so here is the team we are sending into Mordheim City of the Damned today and we're a party of eight today with two heroes now starting from the left me mage master of course and our big brute basher howard howler is coming with us on a mission today I've been looking so much forward to that our captain and only captain mason mugshot is of course with us and three warriors sheldon shieldwise herman henchman and dodgy dan are with us today our eye in the sky is baldy bowman and he's trying out the crossbow for the first time and another first timer is nero the hero he is with us today and we need to keep him safe and secure so let's go 
And the captain has found us a hard mission today. Someone is mocked for death. Both wordstone gathering and scavenging could be average, and both warbands deploy tightly around their wagons and prepare to have a go at each other. Your scouts have discovered a rival warband in the vicinity. These warriors are clustered around their wagon, making them a very attractive target. And we're in. Awesome. First things first, let's just check out the map and see who we're up against. This looks like the human mercenaries. We are up against the Saw Wardens, and these are human mercenaries, so we're up against our own. They could be ranged. And now it's time for deployment and to hear the captain's battle plan. Now I... I will be here. And the captain goes here. And Nero the hero is gonna be actually in front. This may seem weird, but the captain has a plan. And Baldy Bowman is here next to me. And now we have our three warriors. Dodgy Dan will be here. Herman Henchman will be here. Shell and shield wise in the middle, and we have our big brute Basha. Now let's hear the captain's plans. Now the plan is we send Nero the hero ahead to safety up this ramp and inside this nice big house. All of the warriors will also follow up, and Baldy Bowman and I will take care of these two scavenge points. We will take it through the entrance and up and down the stairs fights and see if we need to move out. So that is the first plan. But in more time, every plan can be changed in a second. So let's deploy Howard Howler. So we're looking down the street. There are four enemies taking their turns first. Nero the hero is standing right there in the front and we need to get him to safety. I can tell you a little secret. I overheard a conversation between the captain and Nero the hero today. It turns out that Nero the hero is actually one of his twin brothers, Mock, Muckshot's battle buddies. So he was one of the guys who was supposed to be recruited. Oh, oh something is happening down there. Let's just see here. Something was going on down here. Okay. Let's see. There are two mocks. I can see one of them right in here. Here we are. So let's just see. 37 gold coins. You can always use gold. Look. Actually, I know that it was Boldy Bowman and my task to take these two spots. But now I'm taking both of them. Oh, that's pretty helpful. I guess that pays for the whole mission right there. Let's just see. I might as well go for the wagon next. So let me put myself into an overwatch stance. Listen, Boldy Bowman. You just go and protect Nero the hero, and I'll be right here. Putting my stuff, my 64 gold coins, into the wagon. Now, Captain, let's just see. Now, Captain, let's just remove these two markers. They are done. And we have two more scavenge points over here. And we have some wordstone right there. I'm expecting... We should get that. So, the captain is going to take a high ground with the possibility of defending Nero the hero all the way up here. Look at that. Look at that. 
Let's just take it right away. Let's just take it right away. We might as well do that. Let's see if there's a debuff or a buff. It was a debuff. Let's just see what happens here. A minus 10% melee resistance for two turns. Hmm. Anyway, there is an overwatch stance possibility here. Yeah, they can pass. Good. Now, overwatch. Like that. Nero the hero. I think we're going behind the wall. We're not stepping forward. We might actually spot someone and they could spot us. Now, let's see. Oh. Okay. You could come up nicely here. That's good. That's good. How about you get all the way in here? Tucked away. In an open door right here. With a good overwatch. That's nice, Nero. That's a good spot. I would have picked that spot if I could make it. Now. Baldy Bowman. With his crossbow. Yeah, we can make it. Let's see if we can get you up like this. You might be stuck. Behind you. Yeah, you got stuck. That's too bad, Baldy Bowman. You need some more agility. Okay, and Overwatch stands for that corner. Hmm. Okay, doesn't matter. See, you could. You could try and look down this this way. Let's just see. I don't see anybody. I was pretty certain I saw some poison gases here. Hmm. We're just going. to see how far we can get him. If we can't get him all the way up the ramp, this is a good spot. High ground. Nice. Okay, and an overwatch stands for Dodgy Dan. Nice. Herman Henchman. You're a little bit closer, so maybe you could actually get up the ramp. Let's just see if that is enough. Hmm, you could get up to here. It's a good spot too. Okay. Let's take an overwatch here. I don't see anybody. Okay, Sheldon Shieldwise. Well, you got at the ramp like an angel last time. So let's get you up on the ramp and see if you can actually do that again. Make us all feel safe. Let's see, you can get to this side. I believe the ring, the ring is wide enough to block the whole ramp. Right now he has no defensive stance, but I don't think anybody is going to make it up to him right now. This is an end turn. Hmm. Anyway, I heard a conversation between the captain and Nero the hero. It turns out that Nero the hero is one of the captain's twin brother, Mark Markshot's battle buddies. He was supposed to be enlisted and recruited in Mark Markshot's warband, but now he's recruited with the firing squad, and he knows who the other battle buddy is. So this was what the captain was planning. Anyway, Howard Howler, let's just see. Um, you are getting up on the ramp as well. And you have a lot of movement range. So let's see if we can get you. Ah, oh, you just can't make it up to, uh, oh, you could be here, could you? Are you gonna block something? I don't think you're gonna block anything. Let's just remove these markers there. We still have two markers here, and we got a good overview here. I'm just the only one who's hanging still. So, end turn for Howard Howler. Okay. A new round has started. Oh, this is exciting. In regards to the conversation I heard between 
the captain and Nero the hero. We could probably expect at least one more recruitment in here. Some guy who's a shield and sword specialist from France, I think. He's the other battle buddy, so he's probably gonna be persuaded by the captain to come to us. And that way, his twin brother would probably be recruited with us as well. So we could maybe expect one or two more recruitments soon. This is exciting. Now I'm going to the wagon. And I'm just gonna place... What I have, although it's not much. I mean, slot-wise, that's a good amount of gold coins. See, I could just as well tiptoe over here and just pray. Just for a all-alone buff and... For a word stone buff, tip to once more and see if I can gain uh, a little bit from stretching that blue point. Okay, you didn't want to close the chest. Fine. Let's just see here how far I can get. Oh, oh, I can't. This is too close. Nope. New plan. Let's just see. Um, and over here, Baldy Bowman is so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and stretch this point here and then take a delay. I hope that Baldy Bowman is gonna get up there in his next turn and then there would be space enough for me to climb up. Let's hope that. And Mason Muckshot. Now, Captain, what are you gonna do? Maybe the smart thing right now would be to Make a second front line right here with ranged weapons. And meanwhile, you are well positioned already. I don't know. Maybe you should check out those scavenge points and open windows right there. Okay. Why don't you go scavenge a little bit here? Why don't you do that? Let's see if you can stretch this. No, you can't. It doesn't matter. Let's see. Ooh, the captain is gonna like you now, Nero the hero. If you bring him a good quality spear that he can enchant. Let's just move this out of the way. And there's a blue marker downstairs, probably. Anyway, let's see. This window? You just can't make it. Doesn't matter. You can take an overwatch stance right here and keep an eye on the stairs. You got good news about a good quality spear for the captain. He's gonna like that. Herman Henchman. Let's move you up the ramp. And into a good position somewhere up here, maybe. This could be good. Let's just hope that you're not blocking the way. I'm just gonna take a delay to make sure that you're not blocking the way. If you are, I'll need to move you. Okay. And I will have to delay once more, and that's not good. That's not good. I thought I could make it. I couldn't. Not good at all. I am just gonna stretch it. And I'm gonna delay once more. And when he's moved, I can... I can only move to the climb spot. And you need to come up the ramp. You need to be up there as well. As a second frontliner. Right here. Let's just check everybody can get past you. That's good. So that means everybody would possibly be able to get past you as well. This is the perfect example of what the firing squad is all about. A second front line of rangers behind a first front line of melee competence. Nice! Awesome! Baldy Bowman, you just jumped up there. You made it look real easy. 
Now you have a pretty long range with that crossbow. Maybe you should be the one going to that window. Sorry there, Nero the hero, but right now we probably need range. Is that smart? Yeah. The two of you can share this window. Let's just see if we can spot anybody out here. No, no one. So you're just gonna take an overwatch stance right here, even though it's a very small window to shoot out of. Herman Henchman, you should just take an overwatch stance right here. Okay. And my turn. Let's just get me to this point. I can't even see the point, but I'm gonna climb up here and I'm gonna cover this hole in the wall. Wow. Yep. An overwatch. Let's just see. We haven't spotted any enemies yet. Sheldon Shieldwise. Let's see where we can find space for you up here. Now, I am soon to climb up. That will be next round. And this spot right here is not blocking anyone. So, let's go into a 70% parry stand right there. All right. Let's see if we spot anyone down there. Doesn't seem like it. And Howard Howler. I'm telling you, this guy is huge. Whenever he swings that big halberd there, everything rumbles. Now, where could he go? The best point right now against any combat or surprises from the inside is a good ambush stance right here. This would block both the stairs and leave space for other warriors to step in and assist. This is the perfect place. And that was the end of this round. A new round has started. What's going on out there? Ooh, what's going on out there? Ooh, something happened over there, I saw it. There was another mist. Poison trap or mist of some sort. And it's my turn. Let's see if I can climb up here. 78% chance. Ouch. Okay. I just used a, another advancement point for agility. Yeah, you see? That one worked. Okay, let's see if we can find a good spot for me. This would probably be a good spot for a nice overwatch. Maybe I should have delayed. Oh, I see someone. I see someone. We should have looked at the map. Look at this. Both of our marked warriors. Their leader and a warrior, a henchman. They're both the marked ones are the first one we spot. I should have taken a delay. Anyway, the captain. You should get maybe also a little up like this. Let's just see. This is a... Uh, this is a good position for an overwatch stance. We are gonna stop them in their progress. Just look at that. And Nero the hero. There are no other windows, are there? Doesn't look that way. No. Okay, Nero. We are just gonna let you check out the scavenge point down below. Let's just see. We can sneak you around here, can we do that? Ooh, it is so close. Ooh, so there is a, there is a scavenge point right there. You just took one spear. So maybe you should take this one and you still would have another step. Yeah, I'm not gonna look out that door. Not with you. Greta's boom. Yeah, well, that's probably five or six gold coins right there. Okay. And let's, let's remove this marker right here and then let's get you somewhere over behind this table so they don't charge you straight from the door. This is a little bit vulnerable spot, but 
We respect your courage. So an Overwatch stands for Nero the Hero and Herman Henchman. Now you are so well placed right here. An Overwatch stands right here. Let's just place us all up here on this ramp. It will be a shooting gallery if they turn up. Now let's see what you can do. Can you spot anyone out there? No, you cannot. You cannot. Okay, then the smartest thing we could do is probably to get you on the other side of these stairs. If I just break the line down there, I might be able to get far enough all the way around here yes so let's uh let's start covering this front door let's just see so now there's also this guy and they may be going this way and up or they may be going this way around up the ramp or this way around and up the ramp any which way we got him so let's guard the front entrance with an overwatch stance for Baldy Bowman. Hmm. Wonder who gets first blood today? Sheldon's shield wise, you are probably not the one getting first blood today with all this firepower right here. Now the plan is that Sheldon shield wise should be able to have space enough to fight. This is a good place to put up a 70% parry stance. Right there. Oh, they are over there. Let's see. One of the mocked ones is just behind that wall. And Howard Howler is still here. Now this is an okay place for now. He has a long movement range and he can make it anywhere down that ramp if needed. This is a perfect place for an ambush stance. And now the round is coming to an end. A new round has started. Oh, here he comes, here he comes, it's their leader. Hi there. Oh, there, there, there was a cat. Was that a cat that ran in front? Where are you going? Oh, he saw the shooters. They are coming through the front door. So what I am gonna do is I, I would like to get that first blood that you just cheated me from. I'm gonna place myself right here, huh, Baldy? Let's take this. Now the question is if I should take a delay. First of all, I'm gonna reload. And I'm not gonna take a delay. I'm just gonna take an overwatch stance right here. We need to get Nero the hero up here. And Mason Mugshot, let's just check out the ring right here. See, this ring, it still opens up a little bit for someone to get past Sheldon Shieldwise Perry Stance. And that is okay, because inside we could have an ambush side, even on both sides of this door if needed. But for now, we actually need to get some shooting on the stairs now let's see if we have space for one more maybe mason could be here in an overwatch stance is that smart i think so now nero you better come up here oh that's one more step we're still doing good hmm let's see we have bolty bowman over there let's just see if you have a better chance if anyone is coming in this way. Anyone running towards the, the front door? Let's try this position for you, Nero. There is a ranged warrior. Let's just see here because they do have a ranged warrior over here. And he's still inside the house, I can see. He's here, somewhere, right there. Now this guy, he's visible, but this guy is around the corner and we can't see him right now. So let's see. Ah, he's very close to the front door. Question is if he's going to go this way or go this way now that we've moved some of the troops. 
we still have shot at the open door over there. So, an Overwatch stance for Baldy Bowman right here is fine. It's fine. Their leader is gonna have quite a surprise. Dodgy Dan. Actually, I think we are leaving the ramp. It seems as if the front door is an easy place to cover, and if they should turn up down here, we could have an ambush stance on each side of this door real quick. So, if we place Dodgy Dan behind the corner just here in an overwatch stance, like that, and then we need to move Herman Henchman, yes. We need to move you too. This means there will be no shooting on the ramp. But once they come up, there will be. So Sheldon Shieldwise is the last one coming in from the ramp. And he's gonna take an ambush stance behind the corner. Let's just check the map. This guy's still visible, this guy's still inside the house, and this guy is still around the corner. Yes. And Sheldon Shieldwise, let's just sneak you around this corner and get you up the ramp and into a nice ambush stance right here covering both the stairs and the doorway. Let's just see that and block the door from the inside. But this is a good place for an ambush stance. Like that. Oh, we can see him. We can see him. Oh, this front door is being watched by many eyes. And Howard Howler. This is the best place to be actually right now. Um. Lots of space up here for melee combat, so an ambush stance at the top of the stairs right here is the best. So, the end of the round is coming close. A new round has started. <laughs> He's coming. He's coming. Nice! Ooh, how far is he going? Oh, another miss. That was a warning shot, actually. Just a warning shot. Oy, another warning shot. How many warnings do you need? Meet Howard Howler. <laughs> ay, 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 you gave him 19. Okay, look this. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay, you got one more. And one more. Uh, you're never gonna be good friends with Howard Howler. I can tell you that for sure. What's going on out there? He's down to 47. But Howard Howler already took 50 damage. Ouch. Now. Let's reload. Right here. 35 is not a good percentage, but I got enough strategy points for an aim shot. Take my chances. Ooh, it was foggy there. Uh, I mean, there was a, probably a fly in my eye as well. I uh, just, I mean, that was just the moment I let down. Anyway, we are going for an Overwatch stance covering this front door. Okay. Mason Muckshot, you have some firepower and some ballistic skill. Still a 35. You too could try this one. Yeah, that's right. That is right. Oh yeah. Meet the captain. And he is taking an overwatch stance over the stairs. Once more, and Nero the hero. Let's just see, can you still not shoot anyone? Probably not. How about you participate a little bit, huh? Maybe we need to 
move Nero. Let's see, you got a 10% chance. You don't have much of a chance there. So, maybe this is a, a better spot for you, or maybe, could you shoot between the lot of us? Yeah, you could probably cover this door as well. Well done, Nero. Yeah, let's take an overwatch stance. Right there. We got a lot of shooters around these stairs. A lot of shooters. And Herman Henchman could still be a shooter. He needs to reload though. And then... 29. No. No. You two are gonna get over here. Looking down upon those stairs and... If someone dares to try and come up these stairs right now... Now there is an open door right here. So what we could do was just can reload and you can stretch that blue point here a bit right here. Yes. And then oops. Like this. And then you can switch weapons like this. Yes, and go back a little further even. This is a good ambush stance right here. Taking anyone coming in through that door. Well done, Dodgy Dan. You're really thinking about our security right now. Now a reload for first shot with the crossbow. There's a 33% chance, but that doesn't matter. The point is... Yeah, well, that was probably that same fly. The point is, look, Baldy Bowman can actually reload and get into an Overwatch stance with the crossbow. The crossbow is a powerful weapon and it can shoot almost as far as the hunting rifle. So this is a good upgrade. Ooh, someone else has come into our view. Someone else. Who may that be? Let's just see. Right there. Uh-huh. He's here. Okay. And he has 17 health. Or wounds. Or life. And Sheldon may actually want to change that. Not with a charge. It's not necessary. Still have an attack for an ambush. Hi there, leader. Ooh. And that was a good dodge. But you know what? That was also a good dodge. I didn't think this was gonna happen. Now you can meet a 70% parry chance from Sheldon Shield. AKA our white knight. He's doing pretty good, that leader. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not too happy about the situation now. Howard Howler. Okay, let's see, Howard Howler. You wanna talk to this captain? <laughs> oh, he's a good dodger. But you know what? Howard Howler, he can go on and on. <laughs> oh yeah. Now let's see. Ooh, there is a Spear of Venom. And a shield of tenacity, plus 20% to all alone test, that's okay. And now we may get some debuffs. Anyhow, Howard Howler has a full inventory. Ah, he did get something. I can't exactly see what it is, but he got something. Okay, Sheldon Shieldwise is in a parry stance. So we can move him over here and set him right here in front of these stairs that should be blocking off in a 73 percent parry stance i like that now let's see how this round ends there is one thing we forgot though i was so eager to loot that we didn't get the name tag we need to get that name tag how could we forget this? a new round has started this is half our optional objective, which gives three XP points in itself. So, 
I just decided I'm gonna be the one securing half those three XP points if we get the other half of course. So I'm gonna go over here and loot and get this out of the way. How could we be so unfocused? Right there. Objective yes, completed. Objective completed. Objectives updated. Yes. It's all updated, and you know what? We might as well take those objectives away. Don't know if I've said this before, but I have two shots. So let's see a nice percentage on this shot. He's not one of the marked ones. Another one is out there, standing right out there. And there's a warlock right there. And there are many more. Oh, they are coming. It seems as if this house attracts them like flies to a turd. Anyway, let's take a shot. Yeah, hello there. Meet Mage Master. Now, let's get back in line, so to speak. Let's reload right here. And let's get over here where I was standing on a little spot right there. Yes, this was the good spot. And an overwatch stands for Mage Master. Thank you. Okay, now let's focus and not forget anymore. Mason Maksha. We have a good ambush by that door. We have a good parry blocking that stairway. And we have a good parry over there blocking the access to the rest of us. So let's just call this our camp. An overwatch stands for Mason Mugshot. Nero the hero. Hmm. You want to have a, a first blot shot in more time? Why don't you pick him out? Yeah, Nero. Take your first shot. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Yeah, how did that feel? Your first blood in Mordheim. Nice, Nero. Well done. Well done. Now you could get back in here and still have enough for a reload. Well done, Nero. Well done. And we can just spot an enemy right out there. Okay. Well done, Nero the hero. Well done. Now, let's see if we if we pull back a bit. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So, the thing is Baldy Bowman cannot use any other strategy points if he needs to reload twice. So, right now, he's a quarter to a half covered. We are just going to see why don't you just take a shot here, Baldy Bowman? You can do this. You can do this. Okay, let's see how much damage. 35! Nice shot there, Baldy Bowman. Nice shot. Actually, this was a good spot. So let's reload. Oh, yes. You have a 90% chance right now. No, we need to have that Overwatch security right now. So, like that. Herman Henchman. Oh, you can see him out there as well, but you can't reach him with your low range on the dueling pistols. So an overwatch stance will take him on his way up the stairs. That would be fine. That would be fine. Okay, so the camp is set up. Well done, Baldy Bowman. Well done. Awesome. Okay, here's another one. Let's just take a look here. Let's see. This guy was the one we shot at. He's lost a little bit of his life. This guy has also lost a little life. That was my and Nero the Hero's arrows. The warlock is over here. The marked one is hiding somewhere. He's over here. He's inside the house. Oh, come on. Anyway. They are coming. Nice. And Sheldon Shieldwise, you should just cover the stairway over here. See Howard Howler, he's gonna move away from that spot right there. So an ambush stands here for you, blocking the both the stairs. 
we'd all feel secure. Dodgy Dan, you're well placed. An ambush stance right here is perfect for you. Like that, and Dodgy Dan can flash Perry now. Well, let's just take a look at these stairs, shall we? Hmm. We're all just standing here, looking straight down there. If they take one single step inside that door, it's gonna rain down on them. Howard Howler, you should go over here for an ambush stance. This is the best place you can be right now. And there's lots of space for melee combat right there. And you got Dodgy Dan with a flash parry right opposite you. This is awesome. A new round has started. Now let's see what happens down at that front door. Who is gonna come up? Who is gonna charge head on? Okay, you're trying the side entrance. Interesting. That's a one-armed chef. Oh, I mean, a marksman. Oh, here comes the warlock. Here comes the warlock. Hmm, let me just see. Why can't I shoot that guy out there? Why not? Hmm, interesting. Is, is the captain in the way? Is that the problem? He could shoot out the door this way. So why can't I? Let's just be very careful. If I go too far, he's gonna ambush straight through the door. And none of our ambushes are gonna work. So I gotta be careful not to trigger his... Ooh, I can shoot him here, actually. So, of course I will. Hello. Ah! Nice. And now I'm just gonna go back, right back here, at my good center spot. Reload and cover the front entrance with an overwatch stance. He's gonna come through that door and he's gonna get quite a surprise. Mason Muckshot, you are first of all gonna reload. Let's see, oh you got a good shot percentage right here. Question is if we should make it a 92. Why not? <laughs> Ooh, nice one! Oh that's awesome. I'm pretty sure that hurt. So it's a reload and an overwatch. Nice. And Nero the hero. Why don't you just choose a target right here? Like that. Let's be certain that you make some damage. Ah, oh, nice one Nero. 25. That was a good one. You could just reload. You just take your dodge of 25%. That's good. And you haven't fired your shot at all. Anyone coming in through that door or anyone coming up these stairs, they're gonna meet your lead. So an overwatch stands for Herman Henchman. Nice. We're in a good position here. And you keep shooting and shooting. That's nice. So you can reload. We and ninety-three percent. Of course, you're gonna take that. Anyone else? No. But that doesn't matter. Let's see how much damage you can do now, Baldy. Oh, that wasn't much damage, actually. But you can reload and go into an Overwatch stance. Two shots with a crossbow. Nice. That's good planning. An Overwatch stands for Baldy Bowman. Oh, here he comes. Gee, that was a nice one. Nice! Ooh, another shot! Ooh, welcome to the shooting range! You're the target, pal. That wasn't too good. I was like hitting the rail. Oh, here he comes! And another shot for you right there! Did he charge around the corner? Anyway, Howard Howler, he's got something to say. <laughs> that was a quick one. All right. He didn't have much life. Anyway, 
Dodgy Dan, you just forgot where you were. Focus, now you're on your knees, this is bad. Oh man, you were focused on eluding. Okay, Sheldon Shieldwise, you need to step in here and you need to do it fast. This is bad. So, Sheldon, please help us out here. We, he had a counterattack as well. 10 damage. Hmm. Listen, you should attack, Sheldon. 70% is still not good enough, but 95% attack chance, that's what we're going to see here. And then you take the parry. That's right. This is bad. This is really bad. We got Dodge Dan on his knees and a one-armed chef or whatever right here with a dagger and a dagger is pretty difficult to defend against this is so bad and we were focused on that looting and howard howler could just loot anyway an axe and a hammer an axe and a hammer that is actually nothing this was what we risked everything for and dodgy dan is on his knees for an axe and a hammer there was one thing we could do could take one of these and put the word stone back like this and they will stay there till next round these two things will just disappear but the word stone will stay okay so howard howler maybe you shouldn't engage too much up on the stairs anymore so maybe we should take you to this side to just block anyone trying to go around the stairs and right here you take a 73 percent parry chance okay this is bad a new round has started we nice one we even better awesome He's taking a dodge stance, but there is something that hit Sheldon Shewise. Something is wrong with his head. It's like his helmet is like glowing. Wonder what that is. And over there comes a warlock. He stepped into a trap, I think. Sounded that way. Okay, we need to help assist and do anything we can over here. First of all, let's see. This guy's down to 48. This guy, is he going behind us somehow? Oh, he's over here. He can't get up anywhere, this place. He, can, he can't get up anywhere. So he's probably going to come up this ramp as well. Okay, reload. And assist over there. Let's just see. I, I can't hit. I can't get a beat on him. This is the best I can do. 77 now. Let's see here, you mine hole. Ah! Yeah, that's right. You hurt Dodgy Dan, and I'll hurt you. Let me just see. We're gonna give you two shots. Or should we take a look out here? And see, see, he's down there. I can see you. And you're a warlock like me. Question is what I'm gonna do here. I think the smartest thing to do is get a little bit of distance and then take an overwatch stance right here this distance is gonna take the stairs over there the stairs right there and the door right there I can reload here and I can't move anywhere else now and then we are taking an overwatch stance right there okay now Mason let's just see what do you have here you have an oil bomb you have poultice which can remove one open wound effect that's good and you got smelling salts there's a 35 percent chance to remove a stun effect now this could be relevant right let's just see if we can reload first while we stretch this a bit stretching yes so reload yes Let's stretch the blue marker a little bit over here. Let's see. There it is stretched. Now let's see if we can find this. There's the poultice and the smelling salts. No, we need to get closer. Okay. 
So we could shoot? Should we? Yeah. That was not a good shot. Sorry, Captain. Let's not talk about that because the story goes the Captain never misses. Now let's see. Do we have the possibility of the smelling salts? There it is. And let's give it to you, Dodgy Dan. 35% chance. Now please. Ah! That didn't seem to work. That's too bad. So, how about the poultice? You see, Dodgy Dan now has an open wound right there. There's a plus 5% injury chance after this battle. We don't want him injured, but it costs three. Maybe the smartest thing right now is to wait with that open wound thing. And we're gonna reload. And there is still one movement possibility to get all the way in here. And an overwatch stands for the captain. What a pity that smelling salt didn't work. It would have been good to have Dodgy Dan on his feet without any debuffs from the stun. Now Nero the hero, let's see. Do you have an arrow? You have an arrow ready. Why can't you shoot him? It would be nice of you to just get your first kill, huh? How about that? Getting your first kill? Let's put you here. Let's give you an aimed shot. You can't make 30 damage, but you can do some. Oh, look at that. Nice situated. I would call that a pure headshot. Nice. And we can get you back over here and you can reload. And this is so good, Nero. This is so good. Reload for you. And an intern. And Baldy Bowman. You can reload and you can shoot and you can reload again, but let's see if you can get a beat on this guy over here. No, you can't. And you can't move, so. What would be the smart thing to do? I'm trying to move you a little bit around here to see if you can get a beat on him, but you can't. So you're just gonna keep an eye on this so we're just gonna take an overwatch stance right here, like that. Weird thing that he can't be shot over there. Herman, henchman, you should be able to. First we reload. All right, a 51% chance. Well, you should be able to reload after this, so let's take a chance of 51. Oh, nice one, let's just see. Let's just see, you got four slots, and both Dodgy Dan and Sheldon Shieldwise are over there. They can loot, so you don't need to loot. Well done, Herman Henchman, well done. You can reload and end your turn. Nice. And that was a stun recovery right there. Yeah, it's going to take a turn before you get your strategy and offense points back and we're just gonna loot here let's see two one gold coin daggers right there hmm i guess he used his daggers for kitchen knives i guess anyway that was two gold coins there are still enough strategy points for an extra little little looting over here these two are still there so now they're not and, uh, It doesn't matter. And then we're gonna move you over here in an ambush stance and let's hope the captain will use his poultice to remove your open wounds before this mission ends. An ambush stance for you, Dodgy Dan. Sheldon Shearwise, let's just check out what is this thing? Oh, you have been taunted. Plus two SP cost to flee and delay and disengage. That's not things you do. You may delay. Now, I don't see anyone out this door. Let's just step out here for a second. Oh, somebody's shooting. Oh, you missed. Ha, <laughs> you missed. And I spent the strategy point for your miss. Was that you down there? No, it wasn't. Who was that shooting? Who was that shooting? Was that you? Oh, Rudiger Eckstein. You're close to the ramp. 
Anyway, well done, Sheldon. You provoked a shot. Yeah, anyway, this is a good ambush. Stance. Place. Okay. Okay. Let's just see. They're taking some moves out there. Let's just look down upon that front entrance. Somebody is loading. Whee! Nice one, Baldy Bowman. I just heard the shot. And you shooting back. So you shooting back. Uh-huh. Here's a ranger down there. He's got a pretty bunch of targets right up here. Okay. Hmm. You're gonna put him in an ambush stance right here. Like this. This is good. Okay. And the round is coming to an end. Let's just see what happens out there. A new round has started. This is Dodgy Dan with an open wound. I do not like this. I do not like it. Something is happening. I think the warlock is trying to climb that wall down there. Hmm. Do I dare take a look? I could look from this corner maybe. Can't see him anywhere. Let's take a look at the map. Where is he? Oh, he didn't make the climb, so he's probably running around. Yeah, there he is. So he's right down here. Now, he had a shield and a sword or an axe or something like that, but it wasn't a ranged weapon. Let's just see if we can spot him through this door. I can spot him down there. I can shoot. He's half and quarter. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to loot my way out Without using any strategy points, I'm just gonna loot my way out this door. A little bit ahead every time, stretching that point. That strategy point right there. And we're gonna loot again. Let's see if I can get a better hit chance. Let's just see. I can stretch it this far. Let's just see. Yeah, 87, high ground, overhead, everything. Okay, so, mister, here's a little greeting from one warlock to another. Yup. And I can reload. I got two shots. Did you know that? You probably knew that. Okay, right now, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna loot my way back, actually. A little... A few loots here would get me a little further into the room. I want to switch places with the captain. Because the captain needs to give Dodgy Dan some poultice. So that his open wound doesn't result in an injury when he gets back. So what I'm going to do here is, oh I could get far, I could get pretty far. I'm gonna delay myself over here. Right here. And then the captain should go and give some poultice. Right here. Let's just see. There is the poultice. You need to give it to Dodgy Dan. Like that. Okay, it looks as if he got it. Let's just check that he doesn't have any open wounds anymore. He doesn't. He's still got stun recovery, but he doesn't have any open wounds. Nice. Okay, so we're not going back home with someone who has a chance of a big injury. There might still be a chance for an injury, though, unfortunately. Now we need to be smart about the placement of the captain. He's going to get all the way out here. And Overwatch stands for the captain. And Nero the hero. You should give it all you got. Let's just deal some damage right now and then get out. Okay, that was a 95% chance and you rolled a 100. Listen, you got to roll better. Anyway, you're going to reload this and you need to get out of the way so somewhere like here or something 
Nobody's gonna get past Howard Howler, so let's place you here. And Herman Henchman, you already have your loaded pistols. Let's see if you could... Oh, you can't shoot that far. Ah, oh, what a pity that was. If you stand here, you're an easy target for him. So maybe you should get to this side over here. But when he gets up the stairs right there or right over there, you may have a better shot chance. And Overwatch stands for Herman Henchman. And it is my turn again. He's going to shoot at me if I'm here. And that means he's going to stay put, probably. And that would be a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Oh, yes. You're taking chances now. You're going just a little bit to the side out here. Like this. You're going to reload. Oh, yes. Look at that percentage. Let's see what damage you can inflict. Ooh, 36 again. You're in the 30s. It's nice. This is really a good weapon. Gonna reload again and take an overwatch stance. Well done, Baldy Bowman. Well done. Now the two of us may get shot at. We may. And you've been taunted. You're gonna take an ambush stance right there, Sheldon Shieldwise, and we're all gonna feel safe when you do so. Nice. So let's see what's happening outside. We're just waiting. Just wait. Oh, it's his turn down there. What is he doing? <laughs> We 43, that was a painful one. He only has one shot. And dodgy Dan. He's got another assignment. He's by this door, closing it off in an ambush. With Sheldon Shearwise. Howard Howler, you should stay here as well. That ambush stance is a good spot. Let's just see. Someone coming up these stairs. A new round has started. Okay. So there's someone we haven't seen yet. Who's taking their moves out there. And here is the warlock. Now let's see what he does. Is he coming up? I can hear someone climbing. Okay. Okay. I got that fly in my eye again. I mean, these flies. Look at him. Look at him out there. He's got a nice looking arrow. Okay. He's a hard target. We all missed. There is a curse on us today. What did he just do? Blinding lights. Oh, I know that spell. Do you know Sheldon? <laughs> you, guys? you will. I really like that arrow sticking right out of your side of your head. Okay. Now, Mr. Warlock, standing there in the light, I got a lot of strategy points. What is wrong with this guy? Is he impossible to actually target? We've had four misses out of four shots. I don't like that. Now, he's down there as well. There's a 95% chance. I am gonna move away from the stairs now. I'm gonna move away, but I still wanna give this guy a shot. I can't shoot the guy down there in the hall. That means he can't shoot me, I guess. So, an overwatch stands here, like this. And Mason Muckshot, you need to reload and give it all you got. This guy, he's so hard to hit. We're gonna try an 85. <laughs> Finally, we broke that curse. All right. So, it's time to reload once more. Uh, he's down to 122. Let's just see. Wee, nice one! All right, awesome. We're gonna keep you here, and all you can do is end the turn. And Nero the hero, you have some blinding lights on you. You can shoot an aimed shot at 70. Let's see if you can give him. 
Ah, that was close. We've had seven shots and five misses. This is bad. You could still move around, but you're gonna take a dodge stance of 20% right there. And wait for your next arrow. Now, Baldy Bowman, please lay some heavy damage on this dude while you sneak away from that guy down there. First of all, let's reload. Come on, Baldy. He's got 136 wounds or life down there, but this is the guy we want to hurt. Now, we're going to have to take this shot. Yeah, that was another miss. That was like eight shots and six of them are misses. And you're stuck. But, in an overwatch. Nice. Okay. So, Herman Henchman. Could you by any chance get a nice shot on this guy with an aimed shot of 74? How about that? That too is a miss. This is an incredible curse that has been cast upon us. What is going on here? What is going on? Okay. So this is an end turn. This guy is impossible to hit with ranged. So Sheldon, would you please... Yes, yes that's right. And you have a 95% chance extra. But you're not going to take that chance. You're going to use your 70% parry stance right here. Oh, he's coming down there. Oh, you saw that? Did you see that? Those flies were gone and I... Okay, he missed. I didn't miss. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, dodgy Dan. You should just engage and punish him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That was a critical hit. But he stood his ground. We can't loot him with anyone over here, so if he has anything good, we need to loot him. So a parry stance it is. Howard Howler. You're down to half your health. So, an ambush stance. Cool, calm and collected. Over here. And the round is coming to an end. This is A exciting. new round has started. I'm thinking if we take just one more down. Just one more round. I mean, just one more down. If we take just one more down. We well done, Sheldon. She was, and here's the counterattack we were talking about. Yeah, this is Sheldon Shieldwise, a.k.a. our White Knight, a.k.a. the Surgeon. And I have two slots. Okay, let me just see if I can loot in this little corner here. I can't. Well, it doesn't matter. I can loot out here because Dodgy Dan and Sheldon Shieldwise, they can't. Ooh, he's got a lot of stuff. Um, let me just see. Let's take that shard at least. And a shield maybe. The rest of these things someone else can take. Downer. Let's just see here. One OP cost, two spell casting. I'm not casting any spells at the moment, so. And I actually, I have a reload to make. So, so an overwatch stands from me, right here. Okay, so, let's just see here, he has a lot of slots. So the thing is, that right now, The opponent. So right now, the others are down in morale already. My effect failed. I think I lost uh, an offense point on that. Hmm. Doesn't matter. The thing is right now that their morale is pretty low. And next time any of them needs to take their turn, they will have to roll for a route test. Now if they fail, 
then this mission is over for them. And Overwatch stands for the captain. And let me just say, if it is over, I have survived my fifth mission. That means I'm pretty close to finalizing my standard contract. Now let's Nero the hero. Why don't you just take an aim shot? Yeah. Let it go, Nero. Let it go. And there goes the arrow right to its target. Nice one. Nice one, Nero. Now you can get back here. Or was it here? Anywhere? And you can reload and wait for the next turn if there will be a next round. Now, Herman Henchman, you didn't reload last time. Maybe that was because you were intended to switch weapons as well. So you reload and you switch weapons on both the stairs right there. So, ambush stance for you, Herman Henchman. And now, let us see. Ooh, a 95. Let's see you put some damage on him. 33! Oh man, I love that crossbow. I really do. And you can reload. Nice. Let's just take a look at how he's doing. He's not doing so well. 69. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Listen, Baldy Bowman. How about over here? Hmm? Yes. This is good. This is good. Right here. And Overwatch stands right there. Baldy Bowman, you've been doing so good with that crossbow. Now dodge you, Dan. Let's just see here. You could get right back into an ambush stance right here. That would be good. You no longer have any stun recovery debuff, so you could be in an ambush right there, and Sheldon Shewise could be in an ambush right here. Let's just see, that's a good one, and those stairs are covered as well. This is good. This is good. And next round. Yeah! yeah! Man, oh man, that's good! And now, we approach the sweet moment. Returning from battle in one piece is always a sweet moment. But it is also the moment where we discover the newfound skills and the spoils of war. And we receive advancements and experience and better gear. And today, we can once again enjoy the battle tales of yet another victory, but also attend to the open wounds and bloody injuries sustained that may or may not become fatal for the continuance of the Firing Squad. Let's share that sweet moment together in tomorrow's episode of Mage Master's Amazing Adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Thanks for now, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please leave a note in the commentary below and hit that subscribe button and the notification button if you want to be notified of new releases. So that's it for me, thanks and have a nice day.